Welcome back! Why can't I move? You gotta hit a button? Alright, there you go. Welcome back! This is Ghosty Films. Mm, and Kenshin 1913, along with Brian Spovanovich. And Sancho Panza. <laughs> yeah, and we're Let's Playing The Legend of Zelda. Zelda. -er. It's a different it's... Zelda. It's a different than Zelda. Because it's, it's more manly. It's Zelda. Oh, you keep doing that. I am uncoordinated. Yeah, and it's. Clumsy. Anyways, Dan's <laughs> gonna try to get to the tip of the nose here. The wag of the finger. You're dead. You're dead man. You're dead man walking. This guy's gonna kill you. Yeah, but I know, but you're gonna get taken back to wherever. Funky Town, I think they call it. I love Funky Town. It's yeah. so funky. Uh, yeah. I got bombs. Why don't you take me to Funky Town? And as you can see, Link can throw in diagonal directions. I wish somebody would take me to Funky Town. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Forget him, Dan. Got that one. You'll never beat him. Just like your worst nightmares. You wake up in the morning with a cold sweat. My mm -hmm. worst nightmare is actually a recurring dream that I had. Mm -hmm. right? At the zoo, and mm -hmm. I'm in the monkey cage, and I don't have any pants on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. And um, mm -hmm. then... <sighs> I don't want to talk about this oh. beat. Well, I just put on my 40 in glasses, and I'm ready to hear your story. I also have my pad of paper and pen, and I'm ready to listen to what you have to say as a human the being. The monkeys rape me. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I wrote down that you're a nutso anyway, so... You uh, son of a bitch. I'm gonna prescribe you these anti-nutso medicines. Uh, is that... They're actually Tic Tacs. Like this kind of nuts? <laughs> no, no. Oh. They're actually Tic Tacs. Because if it's this kind of nuts, mm -hmm. then I don't want any anti... Mm -hmm. whatsoever. No, it's not... It's not anti-testicle, Dan. It's just... Yeah. Good. Anti crazy. Let's show them the Lost Woods. What the hell? All right. We'll show you the Lost Woods so that you know. You know that if you're ever lost in the woods, like even if you're like Blair Witch Project lost, you always know that you can go. What is it? North, south, east, west, or something? Do you? Do you know where you're going? Yeah. Okay. I'm not lost before I got to the lost woods. Yeah, place. true. I bet I would like to have more bombs. Is that the lost woods? Wait. You're not in the lost woods anymore. I'm gonna blow stuff up. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a suit work to everybody! Van Halen rocks! What? Alright, we're back. Anyways, we got the gold, rubies, whatever, and now we're gonna go that way. And this lady in here... Oh, that's oh, the woman who tells yeah, you to get through the might wall. as well. Oh. I'll show you a, a secret. Oh. Let's, uh, let's pay 50. Boy, you're rich! Screw you, lady. Pay me and I'll talk. Sounds like a whore, huh? Yeah. Go north, west, south, west. To the forest of the maze. Too bad we're not paying you nothing. What did you give you? You pay your ten. This ain't enough to talk. Stab. Talk isn't have sex. Anyways, let's show off how we defeat those guys. You know how? Oh yeah, you wait for them to stop and then you kill them. Yeah, you murder them. Just as Link would do. To a puppy. <laughs> yeah, probably. Luckily, he didn't meet a real life puppy. Otherwise, you might have murdered them. But there you go. That's how you get them. Figured you might as show off how to kill those guys. So let's go through the force of lostness. Sneak up on me, eh? Alright, so you go up one. Then you go west. So... <laughs> Stab a couple people on the way. Yeah. And then west again. And that should bring you, if you Dude, hear that noise. So there you go. That's how you get through the lost woods. Now we're gonna head to level eight. Which is I believe is in the woods. The green woods. These are like these are what I like to call the brown woods. They're like 
they're like all dead and crap. Ow. You got stabbed. That mepper just got stabbed. Look at him walk now, huh? So you, you said these are bushes or trees? Oh, I know. The green and yeah. brown. The green and brown. So anyways, let's, let's talk about... I was going to talk about a, a special friend of mine. His name is... Uh, his name's Rob Spobanovich. And he's a pretty cool dude. I just made him a uh, fun t-shirt that I'm going to give to him next time I see him. Oh, you made that. Mm, yes, I eventually made the t-shirt. What does that t-shirt say? Well, the story goes, when he was a young lad, he used to have a t-shirt that said, I'm tough because I eat ice cream. And it was just the funniest shirt I've ever seen. Well, one of the funniest shirts I've ever seen. So I, I was always used to bust his chops and be like, I'm gonna get you that t-shirt. And then, uh, so I kind of recreated the t-shirt. It was a bright yellow shirt, but I couldn't get bright yellow. Let's play a money-making game. Let's. Oh, wah, 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 wah. Yay, money! We cheated. Yay, we did. We ripped off that old man. Yes, we did. Well, ca casinos are generally unfair yeah. anyway, so I don't yeah. feel too bad about it. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, what was I saying about these stories? So I told him I was going to make him a t-shirt, so I eventually did. And I plan on giving him a new shirt that says, I'm tough because I eat ice cream. With a nice ice cream cone, and there's another warp area. If you went down the three stairs. So now we're heading to level eight. After we kill all the spiders from Spider Skull Island. Those are called Tektites. Oh, really? Yeah. You looked up some names, huh? No, I just remember that from when I was a kid. Oh. Like, the only guy I can remember is like Octorox, Moblins, and Zoras. And snakes. I mean, if they're not if they're not called snakes, then what's this world coming to? A snakeless society where the snakes aren't even called snakes. It's a breakless society. Yeah, it's true. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it means that there are no brakes on the cars. No, because it because it rhymes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you remember this mm -hmm. here? Or... There it is. Yeah, there it is. You see that one lone tree? It's like, hey, I'm in your way. I am in the way! You just set that tree on fire, because Link sets stuff on fire when it's in his way. Mm hmm. I mean, that's what any law abiding citizen would do. That's what I do. That's what I would do, too, if I obeyed the law. One time I was going, I was in the supermarket, and there was this old lady with a, with one of those little rascal scooters. Mm hmm. She's, She's in, in way. way. I set her on fire. Mm hmm. That's how it works. It's just how the world should work. You know what, and I, I don't feel too bad about it because, let's face it, the supermarket is a pretty dangerous place. Yeah. You know, she, she, you know if you if you want to run with the, with the big dogs, then mm -hmm. then quit your crying. Otherwise, get up on the porch with the puppies. Yeah. That's what I always say. Yeah. That's a, you know what, that is, a, that is a really good saying. I enjoy that a lot. If you want to get, well, if there's smoke in the kitchen. If you can't run with the big dogs. Yeah. Get up, Get up on the porch with the puppies. That ironically are also as weak and feeble as you are. Oh, uh oh. Yay! For your effort, you get a fee five measly rubies. Ah. So, what's the theme to this one, huh? Uh, it's night. Or maybe it's some big monsters or something? I don't know. I don't really know. Oh, so you had a theme for everyone but eight, huh? I guess. I'm scared. Mummies. And their curse. Where's Brendan Fraser when you need him? I don't know. The curse of the mummy. You remember that game? No. Nightmare? <laughs> An atmosphere? Don't remember it. You don't know, remember those games where you play with the VCR? Oh, yeah. Yeah, with the VHS? And then, and you play against what, the... What is this, a Bible? Mm -hmm. Jeez. No, it's a magic book. And what the magic book does now is gives the, uh... 
Magic rod. More power! Kazap! Now it lights stuff on fire as well. Yep. Oh, stop beating me. Mercilessly. But at least you can still use your rod. If they hit you. Ow. Remember that in the future. Or not, I mean. It's really up to you. Well, it looks like we'll have to continue exploring level 8 in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913 along with Ghosty Films. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.